Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Vine. My name is Dave, and today we are reviewing Boom Bang Gold. It's going to be explosive. Let's do it. Now, as a disclaimer, this is a review copy from Haba. Thank you so much for the support. I'm so excited to start reviewing your games again. You've always had a special place in my heart. You've been there from the beginning. Now, with that being said, Boom Bang Gold is a dexterity slash speed game of sort. Well, you are a um, miner taking these dynamites and you're throwing them in the box. I love when you get to use the box. Um, and then you are flipping over tiles and then grabbing them as fast as you can. Um, now, the quality of Hava games always always top notch and this is touted as a kids game but you had me at throwing dynamite so let me show you the production show you how to play and then get my thoughts let's go let's check out the contents and i love it when you get to use a box for a game now i don't know if you can tell but there's kind of like a trampoline effect because there's a two pieces of cardboard so the bottom piece of cardboard of the box and then this slightly raised um cardboard i just love it and that's for a good reason because you're going to be throwing these these are um chunky wooden dynamite bits with wicks and we throwing these in the box trying to flip them over which we'll get to that in a second but uh, you have this little timer that already came pre-assembled i like that uh, these did not but once they are together they are together and man the art everything in this is just fantastic and uh, these are the different um tiles that you'll see in the game with different pictures and oh, man it's just wonderful i am in love with this production already so let me show you how to use these dynamites let's do it all right so the game is played over 12 rounds and whoever has the most gold at the very end of the game is the winner what you what are you doing at the beginning of the game well you're taking these dynamites and you're throwing them in just like that and you're trying to flip over stuff kind of like pogs and then once that happens, the speedness comes in play. You can only take one of your hands and grab tiles as fast as you can, putting them into your supply right here at first. And then once all of the tiles have been grabbed that have been flipped up, then you will go ahead and execute any, if there are any powers on the tiles. Now let's go over those powers. So with the sheriff, if you have the sheriff here, you will have all the players take their fake gold that they have in their preserve here and then that goes away then if you have the revolver you will duel somebody they will take two pieces of gold of their choice take out two of their hands and put the gold in one of their hands and the other player picks if they pick the gold well they get it if they don't well they go leave and empty-handed and then fake gold and gold as you can tell here and some of the tiles are just rocks nothing nada and the dynamite here is the power you get to throw the dynamite again and try to get uh, some tiles in your preserve and the ice pick allows you to just flip over five of these and if you flip over any gold it goes to your, your preserve but otherwise it stays in there now let's go over these tiles here now these have to do the actual characters when a ghost comes up a the player who has the ghost power can say Watch out, ghost, and everyone will have to take uh, their hands, put them over their eyes, and say, ooh. And the player that has the rat power says, watch out, rat. And then people have to put their hands behind their back and go squeak, squeak. Uh, bat, you say, watch out, bat. And everybody has to put their hands over their head and say, go away, go away. And the snake um, is, uh, you have to clap your hands twice and go hiss uh, when, when somebody says, watch out, snake. Then at the end of the round, you can take everything that you have here and put it into your box and now it's safe. And then you just keep doing that for 12 rounds. And whoever has the most gold at the very end of the game is the winner. Now let me tell you my thoughts on this game. Let's go. And that is how you play Boom Boom Gold. And do I recommend this one? Absolutely. And normally I do not give awards to kids games, but this one, it says it's a kids game. 
but this one is staying on dad's shelf and I'm going to give this a must play game fine award because this one is right up my alley. Uh, and if you don't like that de dexterity game like throwing things like that or pogs like I said before, then this is not going to appeal to you. Fortunately for me, that is right up my alley. I love dexterity games and speed, I'm okay with. Uh, the variant powers are very interesting I like how each character has its own thing about them and each of the animals that they are portraying or they're safe from uh, is apparent on their character right there. Just the, uh, the one guy has bats all around his head and the lady has snakes. So you can remember, sometimes I forgot the, the snake one to clap. I was like, what do you got to do for snake? But just do it once or twice and you'll get the hang of it. And I say play that variant all the time. Now it is a bit silly uh, and you'll see adults probably playing this game with their hands behind their uh, back going squeak squeak but it takes your hand away from the tiles just long enough that somebody can go grab like a pick because that pick man you flip over and get like all gold on all five of those you are just sailing smooth for the rest of like two or three rounds. The theme is fantastic. It suits it well. I just, I love, 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 love this game. And if you're looking for something for the family that's fast, fun, energetic, and, uh, you know, makes a bit of a boom in the household, well, this is going to be a game for you. The one thing I would say is, the Hobbit makes a great production of games. I don't know how this is going to hold up over time. You're throwing dynamite at the dang board and the game and the tiles so they seem to take it well enough over like the seven eight games that i played it because this game you bust out a whole bunch when you start playing it um and i'm hoping that it stays that way but uh time will tell the grand scheme of things this game is fantastic and you should pick it up yourself and if you want to there'll be a link in the description below but thank you again Haba for your support you are amazing just like you Vine Nation you are fantastic and uh, if you're a repeat visitor thank you so much for joining me again and if you're new uh, click subscribe and click like and until the next time that I see you I'm Dave and have a great rest of your day and a great time with all that you play. I'm out. Bye. Vine Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel, and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, so subscribe now and help us out. This video right here, I think you'll like. This video right here, YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can just sit here and watch me dance the dinosaur for a little bit longer. You can visit us at our social media outlets, and we're going to be improving our Patreon here soon. That's all for today. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.